something unexpected is going to happen just because they're live. Oh. Um, <laughs> show such a well-oiled machine. It's not like something unexpected is going to happen just because it's live. As the ladies of The View discuss the murder of a mob kingpin in upstate um, New teach. York. And all I'm sorry, I can't. That, that Scott didn't, didn't have a chance. Why are you smiling? What? Why are you smiling? Oh, I'm not... It's funny to you that Duke's dead? Okay, I'm Is just that... giving you information. You're not giving me nothing. You understand me? Wipe that smirk off your face or I'll wipe it off for you, you son of a bitch. I mean, if you ask me, you know, the poor Scott never had a chance. That's funny to you? What? You That's mean... funny to you? <laughs> you mean funny? That Duke's dead? You laughing? You know what? Wipe that smirk off your face, or I'll wipe it off for you, you son of a bitch. What is wrong with you? <laughs> me? Look, Try asking that in a minute. This mirror. ends Take now. Seat. Oh, Aiden, no, it's you know what? Over. I'm just getting started, so let go of me this instant, or I will march over to that garage and tell Jake who he really is. With you. Me? This Try asking that to Amir and right then take now. a seat. It's oh over. no, you know what? It's I'm it's just over. getting started. Okay, so stop harassing me. Or I'll march over to that garage and tell Jake who he really is. How could you shoot that poor man without even thinking twice? That's not what happened. Oh, it's not? Really? What happened? You actually thought twice? It oh, it's not? It's not. No? How how'd it happen, huh? You actually thought twice? Son of a bitch! Get your hands off me, son. I'll kill you, man. You know what? I'll give you a second hear what he has to say. Hey, he's easy. I'll kill him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna kill you. Whoa, you get this let me kill him, John. Whoa. whoa. Get this guy off me. Nice. Easy. Oh, my now, why goodness. Why don't we just give him a chance to, uh, do what he got to say? Almost as big as the mistake that I made when I didn't believe in you, Nina. You know, you, you swore to me that you didn't take that baby, and I, I should have... I should have believed you. Hell, I shouldn't even, even have asked you at all, right? So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's as stupid as the mistake I made in not believing in you. You swore to me, Nina, that you didn't steal that baby, and you know, I, I, I should have believed you. Hell, I shouldn't even have asked you. So I'm, I'm sorry. And you mean everything to me, Nina. You really do. Yep, seeing things clearly now. I'm seeing things in 2020, or, or better than 2020, 3020. Or 2030. I don't know, I've always gotten those two mixed up. Anyway, it's back. I'm seeing things perfectly now, 2020. Or you know what, it's better than 2020, it's like 3020, or 2030, I don't know, I always get those two mixed up. Very nicely done. I gave up Duke's killer. You take him out. That means we're even. We're far from even. And you better not be lying to tell you that right now. But we are done here, Sonny. Back to business as usual. Isn't that the code you cling to like a security blanket? Get the hell out of my house, you cockroach. Real pleasure, Sonny. As always. Hey, you know, maybe next time you'll actually offer me a drink instead Get of... Get out! All oh, he's over funny. The floor. He's a I'm gone. Now. Funny. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. Let me help you out here, Sonny. <clears throat> I gave you the name of the shooter. You take him out. We're even. We're far from even. And you better not be lying, because you know what's going to happen. Well, we are done here, Sonny. Back to business as usual. That's the code you cling to like a security blanket, right? Get the get out of my house. Hey. Real pleasure, Sonny, as always. Hey, you know, maybe next time you'll offer me a drink instead of spreading it all over oh, the place. Get out! I'm funny bum. guy. Comedian. Ha ha. Corinthos is under the impression that my mechanic killed Duke Lavery. Your mechanic, you mean Jake Doe? Jake Doe was the one who uh, murdered Duke. Jake Doe, your mechanic, Jake Doe. I'm exposed as Jake isn't one of the Jeroms, he's working for me. Undercover. He's working undercover for me. I just wanna make sure we're on the same page. We're on the same page. I'm not marrying Silas. Ding dong. You're not marrying Silas Ding dong. And 
I just want to make sure that we're on the same page. <sighs> we are. We're not marrying Silas. Ding dong. Not marrying Silas Ding dong. I'll handle this myself. What the hell is going on? I just got a tip. On Carlos Rivera. Really? Location? Pier 54. No, no, no. Don't send anyone. I'm going to handle it myself. What is up? What? Yes, we just got a tip. On Carlos Rivera. If the whole purpose of this is to try and make me feel stupid for ever having doubted you, you have more than succeeded, Nina. But I don't know what you're doing now. Getting married. Any man would be happy to have you. OK, look, if, if, if what you're trying to do is make me feel stupid for what are you doing? For ever having doubted you, you've, you've, you have more than succeeded, OK? But you don't need to do this. You don't need to talk about a wedding that's not even going to happen. Yes, it will. People have to go on believing that I killed Lavery. Why? Because it's plausible. People have to go on thinking that I killed Lavery. Why? Because it's plausible. Okay. Well, great. I'm glad you've had this little epiphany. It must be very liberating for you. It's a good thing you acted on it without talking to me first. You're angry. Clearly. I'm trying to live it. It's what's best for you. Okay. Well, great. I'm glad you've had this little epiphany on your own. It must feel so liberating. Uh, it's a good thing you acted on it without talking to me first. You're angry. There are two possible reasons why you would be wearing that dress. A, you've completely lost touch with reality. Or B, you're bluffing and you're just trying to stick it to me. And I, I hope, okay, it's B. Come on, you got me, you got me. There are two possible reasons why you would be wearing that dress. A, you've completely lost touch with reality. Or B, you're bluffing. You're just trying to stick it to me. Right? Okay, come on. B, come on. You got me.